This is Rob Bell. He looks like any regular teenager, but since the age of 14, Rob has also been known as Robbie X. He's now 16 years old and has already wrestled up and down the UK facing various opponents. I was interested by how popular Rob was in the UK wrestling circuit that I wanted to meet him and watch him perform. I got in touch with Rob and he invited me to come to the Dynamic Pro Wrestling third year anniversary show at the Pontefract Town Hall. When did you have your first match on a show? Um, two and a half years ago I guess. I can't remember the date at all. I think I should really but it was a long time ago so it's like would you say you've had much of an influence on Rob becoming a wrestler? Yeah, sort of dragged him to the training school for a start. When he got there, he was really quiet. Didn't say boo to a goose, was sat right at the back of the circle. Uh, it's brought him out of his shell a lot. I, I always liked wrestling as a kid. So we had wrestling on and I'd chuck him about as a baby <laughs> uh, when he was about that I had him rolling off settees, doing like sentons and stuff and trampolines, just anything really, cushions, beds, fighting, just messing about, don't try this at home, <laughs> sort of stuff. Have you ever suffered any form of injury during a match? Yes, I have um, Doncaster Dome, uh, Pro Wrestling 101, I got dropped on my head, I, I had to I, I blacked out completely. They thought I broke my neck. So, like, at the age of 16 as well. So, it's, it's scary stuff, but you got to get up and carry on, I guess. So, couldn't really be helped. Were you at the Doncaster Dome when Rob got injured? Uh, yeah, when he took the flying military press, that one, at the Dome. Yeah, yeah, I was stood in the gorilla position watching him flying towards. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. It just one of them things. I think he just Sykes. I think it was Sykes that military pressed him and overshot. The, and the, I, the guys were just stood a little bit too close. So I was just a little bit too far. Yeah, it was fairly scary because I was again looking through the curtain as he come towards, and we were like Stephen was stood there and we saw him go over there. And I was like, <gasps> and then he sort of went boom on the floor. And we was like, holy crap! You know, it, it was a case of you know what 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 do we do? What do we do? After the interviews had finished, the fans began to start pouring in. Camera crew were getting ready and the show was about to start. How do you think it went tonight? Yeah, it went really well. It's like a bit nervous behind the curtain, but when we was out there, it went all smooth. Like 
everything fell into place like it should do. How did you think the fans responded to you? Oh, the fans deafened me. <laughs> they were really loud. I got a couple of fans telling me that I had um, the loudest pop of the night. What do you mean by pop? Pop means like the loudest cheer. Finally, where would you like to be in 10 years time? I'd like to be in America in 10 years time. Like once I can get bigger, like grow my fully height and um, hopefully I can get to America. If not, I could see myself either traveling around the UK, like going to Europe and stuff. So it'll, it'll all go into one big ball, hopefully. Like one step just leads to another. Gotta wait and see in the future, I guess.